getting ready to make some more soap dough for the February soap challenge. I have some soap dough over here that I made back in December and you can, I can use that. I made it. It has to be something that I made, cannot be purchased and it can be made previously. So I do have those that I did back in December, but I wanted to add a couple more colors. I don't have white for some reason. I don't know why I didn't make just a plain batter. This is kind of a better yellow. That's, that's not white. I wanted to get another color of yellow and then I've got two greens. I have some nice greens, but they're more like tropical greens. I don't have an olive green. So I have um, apple moss green and then evergreen. And then I have a, two colors. This is a blackberry and then a dark purple. This one may morph. I'm not quite sure. So it may end up gray. And then I've got black. I'm going to do some activated charcoal as well. So the designs, I'm, I don't know how this challenge is going to go. I really don't. I'm not, I'm really good at some things but I'm not great at others and sculpting and painting isn't, they're not really my forte. So ignore my fantastic drawings. I was up way too late last night, kind of coming up with ideas. Um, Alice in Wonderland is one of the ideas and it was actually funny because I thought of it. I thought it'd be really cool to do a Cheshire cat. And my husband, I asked him, I said, I don't know what to make. What should I make? He's like, why don't you make a Cheshire cat? So it was just funny that he thought the same thing. So, um, you know, you have my fantastic cat and Alice and then a tree up there. And then one over here, since I'm in Kansas, there's going to be an event. It's, it's kind of going all over the state of Kansas where they're doing tours of different area. My area is in May and I have some soaps and some different uh, boutiques and things around where I live. And they said, you know, if you have Kansas stuff, make it and we'll promote it, ex you know, do extra promotion, things like that. So this one would have sunflowers, that is our state flower, and then a honeybee, which is our state insect. So I'm thinking of doing some, you know, stems of grass, um, some drops rolls in there, different colors of green, have some sunflowers, do a little honeybee, and then have some shades of the sunset going up in there. I may, I don't know. I keep going back and forth if I want to do like a blue sky or if I want to do a sunrise sunset because we have, oh my gosh, the most amazing sunrises and sunsets. So, oh, let's see how this goes. I've got my coffee and my, one of my dad's fantastic mugs. So let's get going. So I'm going to do this first and then play around with some more ideas and get started. Okay. I have my soap dough in the mold. I'm going to cut some little pieces of saran wrap and press it right down on top of them. This will stay in here for a few days and then I'll take them out and mash them up and wrap them really tightly. And then they will stay closed up for a little while longer. I have my plain color in here and that'll just stay in here, which is fine. Goodness gracious, you guys, I have not spent this much time fiddling with an art project or clay or anything like this since probably high school, but it's been fun. I've been doing it for hours. Anyway, I have two bees done so far, so I'm pretty happy with how they turn out. If it'll focus, it's zooming in on the background. There we go. It doesn't want to look at it. So I got two little bees done. I'm happy with how they, how they turned out. So one of them will go into the 
honeycomb one, and the other one will go into the video with the sunflowers. So on to the next part. is one of three of the soaps that I'm going to be trying for this month's February Soap Challenge Club. It is all about soap dough and here are my embeds. I'm going to be doing two different soaps, two different loaves with the same fragrance, same base colors, but slightly different designs. So this one, these are three flowers and then I have some like little flowers and then I have a sunflower, a smaller sunflower, and then a bee. And this one, I'm in Kansas. So the state flower is a sunflower and the state insect is a, a honeybee. So that's what I'm going to attempt. I'm using a fragrance that is, it says mild acceleration. I hope I won't have too much in the way of issues. The safe usage rate though on it is low. So I'm only using about half the amount of fragrance that I usually use. And that is the Brambleberry Smark Sparkling Snowdrop. Can't talk today. Um, okay colors i'm going to do grass on the bottom that's my goal and then i'm going to do put the flowers in and then i'm going to do kind of a blue sky so for the green i have four different greens i have green vibrance from nurture i have kermit uh, apple moss and evergreen from brambleberry and then the sky i have the caribbean blue from brambleberry as well so i plan to do half the soap i have little pictures kind of drawn in my molds and I'm going to go to that point with the green let it set up enough to hold those embeds of flowers and stuff and then I'm going to mix the rest of it and do I'm hoping some swirls of, of blues and whites I'm not quite sure what will happen because I don't quite know how the fragrance will act 
So once I know how it acts in the green, it'll give me a better idea of what to expect when I do the sky, because if I have to move really fast and just get the sky done, that may be what happens. So I'm not 100% sure just yet what happens. But this is, like I said, one of the three batches of soaps, one of the three rounds of the soap dough ones I got. Hang on one second. Okay, so the, for the flowers, I have 22 different colors in the flowers alone. And those are 79 different extended extruded canes. Like I said, I can't talk today. We have those days. So to make these, like here's my big sunflower. Um, and each one of these leaves has actually three different colors of yellow. The little ones have two different colors. And then like on the other flowers, each one of these has three different colors. Um, this one is some different one. So each one of those was a cane that I blended together, not like just soap dough, because it has to be something that you extrude or create and then make a shape with that. So those are my complex embeds. So I use 22 different colors of soap dough to create those flowers and the bee. So fingers crossed, let's go ahead and goggle up and get started. Now, if you don't see me, I went ahead and put the fragrance in these. I measured it out. So um, there's just a quarter Usually, usually when I make soap with the loaves that I have, it's about two ounces of fragrance per loaf. But since the safe usage rate on this is lower, I'm only using one ounce to stay, with, stay within that. So I went ahead and put a quarter ounce in each one with a little bit of sweet almond oil to disperse the micas. So I'll drop swirl, that's my plan, drop swirl those and use a hanger tool to kind of do some ups and downs, see how that goes. So let's get going.
I wanted to share something before I cut these. They're not quite ready to cut, they're a little bit soft, but I wanted to share something that had happened with the tops of these. When I was pouring them, I noticed some bubbles on top. And <laughs> the last couple of weeks, I've made several batch of melt and pour gluten soaps and for bubbles, you just spray them with alcohol. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna spray these with alcohol. And here's the thing with glycerin soap, um, it doesn't really screw up the top. It makes it all pretty and shiny, but with, with cold process, it can be, it can sometimes do things funky and sometimes not. So sometimes alcohol is used to delay soda ash, but sometimes it causes a rippling on the soap. And unfortunately, this is what happened here. So it's like, I sprayed it on because there was bubbles and I was thinking, oh, melt and pour. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it caused something like this. You can see that, see all that rippling? So it causes a top layer to set up in a very, very weird manner. And this is not alien brains. There is something called alien brains and that's from overheating. This is not from that. This is from spraying alcohol on this. It doesn't always happen. Soap is a finicky thing. And um, you know, if this were an ocean soap, because I, show, I showed my husband and he didn't know what I had made. He's like, oh, that's really cool. It's like an ocean, ocean soap, I can't talk. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's a sky. If it were an ocean soap, I'd probably leave it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bevel that off. Um, but the thing about alcohol, it doesn't always do this. It just did it to me today. So this one, I went ahead and planed the top off. I'm not gonna do this one because it takes two people to do it. I have to, I have to hold the loaf and then I have to have somebody hold the planer to do that. So I'll come back once this one's done and it's ready to cut. But just wanna show you that that is sometimes something that can happen when you use alcohol, rubbing alcohol on the top of your soap. I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous about these because this, this challenge has been a labor of love for sure, getting everything done. So I got the tops of these all planed off and they have two different insides. On them. So this one, is it this one? The other one. Um, one of the pinks in the soap dough, I had trimmed the edge off. You can see it's kind of bleeding a little bit. So I'm not going to be very happy if that mica is bleeding into the soap. So this is one, um, I had those little bitty end pieces. I believe that's that same color and it's not bleeding. So I'm hoping that it'll be okay. Anyway, let's give it a go. So this one, let's go ahead and cut this one first. This is the one that has the three flowers in it. So you can see kind of the grass. I had done some different colors in there and then did hanger swirl, not really swirl, but hanger up and down. So we're gonna cut this one first. And then the other one, this is the one that has the bee in it and the more of the sunflower look. So fingers crossed, let's give it a go. I did the side stamp instead of the face of the bar, but I'm super excited how these turn out. I'm just so pleased. I really, really am. I'm not going to stamp the face of them, so we'll just have that. And there is the one with the sunflowers and the bee. So I'm going to go ahead and put these up on the curing racks. We'll come back for a final look. <laughs> 